The U.S. Navy recently revealed some future unmanned maritime technology that has the potential to completely revolutionize warfare out in the ocean. Discover the future of maritime warfare with the latest revelations from the U.S. Navy. Behind the scenes of the world's most powerful naval force are advanced technologies that had remained hidden until now. As most of you are aware by now, the field of technology has been witnessing remarkable progress in recent years, pushing the boundaries beyond what was once deemed possible. Our U.S. Navy has successfully utilized its literal combat ships, or LCSs, as bases and command centers for some of their well-known unmanned systems, such as unmanned surface vessels, or USVs, unmanned underwater vehicles, UUVs, and unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, among others. By leveraging the LCS as a hub for unmanned systems, the U.S. Navy has achieved greater situational awareness, improved intelligence gathering, and enhanced mission flexibility. Another significant achievement is made by the AUKUS partners in creating control systems for drones. The collaboration among the United States, the United Kingdom, and Australia seeks to develop a unified control system for UAVs that can be seamlessly integrated with naval operations. This control system aims to enhance the coordination and interoperability of UAVs across the three partner nations, allowing for joint missions and information sharing. Another noteworthy advancement came with an initiative called the Surface Development Squadron, which was established within the U.S. Navy to further integrate unmanned systems with LCS. The Surface Development Squadron focuses on developing and testing new concepts, tactics, and technologies related to the unmanned systems and their integration into the LCS fleet. Speaking of which, did you know that the U.S. Navy actually has a super long history of developing certain unmanned systems? Back in the 1900s, both the Navy and Army collaborated on creating aerial torpedoes. However, due to limitations at the time, this endeavor proved to be too ambitious and it was eventually abandoned. In the early years, there were attempts to introduce unmanned systems into the Navy and Marine Corps, but they achieved only limited success once again. The beginning of this century sparked some improvements in technology that allowed the U.S. Navy to at least reach a stage where controlling unmanned systems became feasible. Naturally, the U.S. Navy recognized this progress and saw an opportunity to incorporate these systems across all domains, air, surface, and subsurface, to cater to various operational requirements. What's interesting is that there are current plans for the coming years to fully deploy a fleet of functional unmanned surface ships. The fleet will be called the Ghost Fleet, a name that certainly suits the eerie nature of these vessels. Multi-million dollar contract. So what's all the commotion about? What is this technology that the US Navy just revealed? Well, it might not be what you expected. First, some specific context on where the Navy's unmanned efforts currently stand. For over a decade, they've been testing uncrewed surface vessels like the Wave Glider and the early Mark I modular unmanned surface vessel. More recently, we've seen demonstrators for large USVs like the sleek 132-foot Defiant. However, the level of autonomy in these platforms has so far been limited. Then, on December 8, 2023, News broke that a company won a ginormous contract with the U.S. Navy to assist them in developing some of the most advanced unmanned maritime systems ever seen before. As stated earlier, the U.S. Navy has only gotten as far as testing how to efficiently and effectively control unmanned systems. But with this multi-million dollar contract, things are about to not only get hyper-advanced, but also ultra-efficient. Let's dive deep into what all the fuss is about. The company that won this huge contract is called Serco, a leading provider of professional and technological services. Under the terms of the contract, estimated at a whopping $68 million over three years, Serco will support the Naval Surface Warfare Center Carterock Division in its efforts to design, test, and integrate anonymous control systems for unmanned surface vessels. But what does this mean, and why is it such a big deal? As discussed earlier, for years now, militaries around the world have been experimenting with unmanned systems like drones to enhance capabilities and force protection. The U.S. Navy has been no exception, as we know. They've tested unmanned aircraft, surface vessels, and undersea vehicles for applications like intelligence gathering, mine detection, and logistics transport. 
However, these early systems had major limitations. They required constant human control and supervision, defeating the purpose of autonomous technology. That's exactly where this new contract comes in. The US Navy aims to advance well past basic remote control with its next generation of unmanned systems. They want vessels capable of fully autonomous operation, making complex decisions on their own without direct oversight. Applications could include defending ports and harbors, gathering intel in contested areas, or even conducting offensive missions if equipped with the right payloads. But the thing is, achieving this level of autonomy poses significant technological challenges. Serco comes in to save the day here. Under the terms of the multi-million dollar deal, they'll provide crucial support in developing the sophisticated command and control systems needed to make unmanned naval autonomy a reality. This includes integrating complex sensor suites, automation software, and path planning algorithms into vessels like the Defiant Class Modular Unmanned Surface Vehicle, or MUSV. Circo engineers will essentially help design and configure these computer systems and aid in rigorous testing to prove they can perform as intended. In addition, the company will assist the US Navy in evaluating how these new autonomous ship technologies can best integrate into ongoing operations. There are questions about how remote human operators can monitor multiple vessels at once, how to share data between manned and unmanned platforms, and importantly, how to ensure systems function safely and according to international maritime law, even without direct oversight. Serco's expertise in aiding previous Navy programs makes them uniquely positioned to help solve these challenges. If all goes according to plan over the next three years, this huge contract will enable a big leap forward for naval autonomy. The US Navy will inevitably gain powerful unmanned assets that expand its reach while protecting valuable crews from danger, ultimately making the force so much powerful than it already is. Now here's a quick question for you all to answer in the comments. Do you think such a big contract will be worth it? Will this collaboration bring about significant improvement in the US Navy's unmanned maritime technology? Let us know. While you're at it, we invite you to join our channel as a member, which will not only help us continue producing these fantastic videos about the US Navy, but also serve as a tribute to all the veterans who tune into our videos. Head on over to the link in the description or simply visit our channel page and select join. Thank you. Why unmanned? But this entire topic raises a very important question. Why unmanned? Is it really necessary to aim for a completely crewless and autonomous method of operating out in the ocean? After all, naval operations have been carried out safely and efficiently for centuries using manned vessels. So what's the driving motivation behind developments like this Serco contract? There are a few key factors fueling the push for maritime autonomy. First and foremost is force protection, removing the human element from harm's way whenever possible. Unmanned systems allow for conducting hazardous operations like mine countermeasures, surveillance of enemy waters, or weapons testing without subjecting sailors to the risk or injury or loss of life. Even routine peacetime tasks like monitoring for pollution or illegal activity can be made safer through robots. Another major incentive is operational efficiency. Automated ships require smaller or no crews, greatly reducing life cycle costs compared to manned vessels which must support all the logistics needed to sustain humans at sea for lengthy periods. Unmanned assets also enable always-on persistent missions without risk of fatigue and can execute coordinated actions much faster than human timelines allow. There are also tactical advantages to consider. Autonomous systems give combatant commanders more disposable resources they can deploy as needed without the same restrictions that apply to protecting human lives. Unmanned technologies also open up unconventional capabilities impossible for manned platforms. Imagine networked swarms of intelligent sea drones providing overwhelming surveillance of a much larger area. Finally, pursuing unmanned technology drives innovation that benefits all naval applications, not just autonomous missions. Advancements in machine autonomy, vessel miniaturization, power systems, and sensors will filter into both crewed and uncrewed systems. 
The U.S. Navy aims to lead this global revolution and ensure America maintains a decisive edge. The thing is, as the pace of technological change accelerates, maintaining dominance at sea depends increasingly on who leads in frontier fields like autonomy, artificial intelligence, precise munitions, and cyber warfare. The U.S. Navy recognizes this and makes massive investments accordingly. Nowhere is this more evident than with unmanned systems. While other navies experiment cautiously, America commits wholeheartedly, aiming to not just keep up, but to set the standards others chase. For instance, adversaries like China dabble with small switch drones or remotely piloted patrol boats. Meanwhile, the U.S. Navy's vision encompasses a full-scale transformation. They work relentlessly, innovating through ambitious trailblazer programs. Whether pushing large independence-class USVs to their limits or proving miniature intelligent mines, each test identifies new ceilings, not just for robotic abilities, but also for how humans and robots team up. Clearly, the U.S. Navy supports this evolution lavishly. Under Circo's contract, naval centers receive $68 million immediately with likely much more forthcoming. Compare that to some nations spending less than $5 million on autonomy overall. Nor does commitment stop at funding, by the way. The U.S. Navy cultivates cutting-edge technical talent through initiatives like its Startup Accelerator. It also actively scouts foreign innovations that could boost capabilities, often improving designs through its massive in-house research. Most vitally, the U.S. Navy understands that no domain, robotics included, progresses in a bubble. It focuses spans under sea, surface, air, space, and cyber dimensions seamlessly. New technologies cascade across all, force multiplying each. By the end of it, on one hand, the tactical and operational advantages seem undeniable. But doing so also represents an unprecedented paradigm change, removing humans from life-or-death decisions on the front lines. There are also societal considerations around jobs being transformed. This brings us to a final question for all the viewers. What are your thoughts on building entire fleets of next-generation uncrewed systems controlled through AI? How might that reshape modern navies, and how should policies ensure oversight of highly autonomous weapons? Won't things have a big chance of going wrong? Let us know in the comments below. As we wrap up this exploration of maritime technology cooking at the U.S. Navy, it is evident that we have entered the era of unmanned systems. If you enjoyed this video, we kindly ask you to show your support by giving it a like and subscribing to our channel. Your support means a lot to us and motivates us to continue creating entertaining and educational content on the U.S. Navy and other maritime topics. Don't forget to click the bell icon to receive notifications whenever we upload a new video. Thanks for watching. We look forward to bringing you more exciting content in the future. See you in the next one.